official height 170 centimeter, official weight 95 kilogram. His personal record: seven wins, two losses. TNA champion, IFMA World champion, fighter, representing Captain Jim. A bit of an error on screen there, saying 65 kilograms. He's actually 107 kilograms. <laughs> If it was 65 kilograms, he would probably weight of King Colin George's leg. <laughs> Fighting for the red corner, 30 years old, official height 207 centimeter, official weight 112 kilograms. His personal record: 13 wins, 10 by knockouts, 11 losses. Participant and winner of international fighting tournaments, KOK World Grand Prix finalist, representing Mike Jim Holland. Colin Well, nearly 20 centimetres difference in height. Three rounds, three minutes each. 19 to be exact, and he's no small man himself. At 1 metre 88, to start near Rogava from the Ukraine and Georgia. So he's no small man. As you can see there, stood in the middle, Andre Grossu, the referee. Um, you know, first round. is. <laughs> He's a man mountain, isn't he? Well, we've seen him fight here. He's had good success, but he's also lost a couple. Colin King George. From Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Holland. First round. Fight. Round one. So a touch of gloves, and here we go. So round one, scheduled for three if it goes, but don't blink in this heavyweight fight. Big clash. So here we go, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> don't blink. The big men are in the ring here in this heavyweight contest here in Moldova. Like I said, he's no small man himself. Look, very, very tall. Sotny, Rogava, Ukraine and Georgia, dual country, nationality fighter, meets Colin the King George with his hands, getting a measure of the bigger man. Colin George switching stance to Southport. Chops in a nice little right lead hand. Switching back to left guard, orthodox. Throws in the famous Dutch low kick. A little bit up rather than going round though, just taking a bit of the power out of the kick. Ooh, it's a big right. Crowd appreciating every good strike. It doesn't matter what country you come from. If you do something good, they will appreciate it. Very, very educated crowd here. 8,000 people here. It's the second biggest sport in this part of the world, which is refreshing to know over that uh, not my favourite fool's ball. And apologies to any... Fool's ball, I call it fool's ball, it's football. Fans around the world, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're each to their own hate, and uh, I just love the combat sports. I love Muay Thai, I love kickboxing, I love boxing, I love MMA. Just the combat sports, it's what I do. This year, on the 17th of November, 2017, exactly 40 years ago, I started Thai boxing. November the 17th, 1977. So 40 years this year, life begins at 40. You can understand why you think... Oh, think, well, it's not think, it's no, why I love it. <laughs> Once I've spent 40 years doing something I don't like, that's for sure. Unless I'm uh, more stupid than I look. Anyway, enough of my Sandy Holt nonsense trivia and uh, information. It's about these two big lads in here right now. Again, crowd appreciating good technique. Sotny Rogava here to stamp his authority on the bigger man. And up to now, he's doing a pretty good job. But Colin George opens up now in the final 20 seconds. But he takes one south of the border, but the referee waves him on. Well, refused to lose. It says on the back of his shorts, he needs to go, go, go. Very charismatic, nice guy. Such a lovely guy outside the ring, Colin. Last few seconds now, the bell's about to go. Um, well, we've just had three minutes. And I mean, you know, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but we do. Whoever said that saying, and they always say don't, but everybody does. Am I right? You're watching this back at home. Listen to Sandy Holt's uh, crazy little uh, euphemisms.
People say, don't judge a book by its cover. Look at the man on the left, look at the man on the right. You wouldn't think, would you, that the guy on the left there, right, has probably won that first round. He just had a little bit of a bit more work rate and a little bit more success. Some good defensive movements there, though, from Colin George. He did have a share of that round for sure, but I just think the guy who just edged it, I'm going to give that round a 10-9 to the blue, to Sodny Rogava, the Georgian-born Ukrainian. So Colin George. I'm sure we'll come out round two and out to impress the judges and try and get one back. Like Second I said, that's just my unofficial fight. scoring of that. Second Might be wrong. Round. Could have been a 10-10 round. Somebody could, have, somebody could have given it to Colin George. Remember, there are three judges ringside. I'm just your commentator. I, I will do you a scoring criteria and a scoring unofficial one, but obviously I'm not looking at it as for the judges' eyes. I'm looking at it as an unbiased commentator. I am trying my best for you guys back at home and all around the world and the English-speaking people all over the world in hundreds of countries of hundreds <laughs> well yeah there's over 100 countries in the world of course there is um trying to give you a little bit of some definitive information of how these fights work with the, sco the scoring criteria and what is actually happening inside of those four ropes in the square ring here in moldova we're at the king of kings show an FEA show, that's Fighting Entertainment Association, King of Kings, Donatus Simonitis and Mr. Dorin Damia, the two promoters who put this together. So, all punches are allowed. Oh, big right from Colin George, he opens up again. All kicks score, every kick scores except to the groin in the back. Front kicks, round kicks, side kicks, back kicks, hook kicks, spinning kicks, spinning up kicks, sunshine, cartwheel kicks. Every kick is included. So the legs to the body to the head. Ooh, big shots coming back in there from Sotny Rogava. All punches to the head and body, same as boxing, but included the spinning back fist, what they don't have in boxing and including the Thai, Thai boxing flying punch, or Superman punch, as it's been come to be named by the MMA world. And knees are allowed to the legs, body and head, just not allowed to hold the knee, because you can't do like a Muay Thai clinch where you grab the hold of somebody's head and knee them. Um, you're allowed to put one hand on them as you knee, but most of the knees and strikes should be done without holding. So like flying knees obviously can be done, jumping knees. No elbows allowed. Oh, big body hook coming in from Sotney there. <laughs> right across me here, one, two, three, four punches raining on the big man. Colin George there, throws in the line, he needs to use his reach, keep the man at the end of that, keep away from those body punches. Because when Sotney Rugava gets in close, he opens up on Colin George. Colin just needs to keep it at bay, keep him, keep him at range, use that extended reach of his arms and legs because he certainly has got reach advantage now 10 seconds left of round two well another good round a busy round from both guys with a man punching the sky there to Sonny at Rogava thinks he's done a little bit more work in that second round I don't know what people think could be Colin, he keeps having these little bursts. He sort of comes alive, but then doesn't capitalise on it. Look, right here. Boom. He just, he had a real good go. Look at that uppercut there. Fantastic. But then we see this. Big punch combinations coming from the smaller one. But look at that right hand there. Concussive strikes coming from Colin George. The big Dutchman. Just a little bit of interesting facts. Remember, there's facts and opinions. Opinions, there are 7.2 billion people on the planet, fact. Opinion is that they've all got one, and we've all got a bottom hole. But the fact is this, the facts are, Holland 
is the tallest nation in the world. Towel. They have the biggest people Give the towel. in the world. It's a fact. It's, I call it the land of the giants. It's true. Final round. <laughs> Fight. Bits of hollow many Final times round. I've trained over there. Look at that. The man gesturing there. So, yeah, it's not just an opinion. It's the truth. So, and it's proof right there in the ring. The man standing nearly seven feet tall. Incredible. So, but well, the man there in front of him, who's not scared to meet the giant, Sotny Rogava, Georgian Ukrainian. This is the man from Holland. Brings up the high kick. Colin George, for me, is one round down at least. Possibly two. Bangs in a big, powerful left kick. Ooh! That would have took the lights out. <laughs> Brilliant, and a big knee from Colin George as well. Picking his shots better now in start, round of, start of round three, should I say. Covers up well. See, he's doing, he does this, he starts really well. And especially in his third round, he's come strong. And fights are usually won and lost in the last round because the accumulation, think of it like a race, three laps of a... A running track. You can pip somebody at the post for sure. First one who crosses the line wins. But it's a different point scoring system, of course. Because if the first two rounds attempt, uh, you know, whoa, cheeky cheeky one on the right after the one. <laughs> If somebody gets like a 10-8 round one, 10-8 round two, and then the other one gets 10-8 round three, even though he's come strong at the end, it's not Muay Thai. What happens is the guy with the two 10-8 rounds will probably win it. So, because, you know what? Sometimes points make prizes, of course. Anyway, I'm just playing with you guys. Let's see what's happening inside of these four ropes right now. Because we're over halfway through round three, and it's been a better round for Colin King George. Much better round. come out with a new determination and he's managed to sustain it too well one minute left in round three and Colin there holding back a bit he needs to start keeping up the pressure if he wants to get back the earlier rounds Colin George needs to start putting the pressure on morning of the heads there Touch of gloves. 30 seconds remaining now, round three. Incredible stuff from these two big guys, both giants of the sport. Sotnia Rogava trying to meet the big man, and he's doing a good job. 10 seconds left, round three, third and final. The final little flurry from both guys as they go at it for the last 10 seconds. There we go. What a great fight from these two big guys. For sure. But you know what? I'm going to go 10-9 round one, 10-9 round two, and 9-10 round three. I'm going to give that last round to Colin George. So I'm going to go two to one. But here we see, look at that eye kick, nearly took out the lights, and the lights are like 40 feet above the ring. <laughs> so, as we've seen some of the replays there, it all comes down to this here at the Manaj Sports Arena in Kishno, Moldova. Kishno, the capital of Moldova. Well, the big man there, Colin King George and Sotni Rogava. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. After three rounds by unanimous judge decision. Three judges have given it. The winner is. Blue corner, Sotnia Rogava. Yeah, win on points, all Ukraine, judges have seen Georgia. it. I think, yeah, I'll give it two rounds to one.
But well, you know what? A great comeback in the round three from Colin George. He did well. So congratulations to Sonny Rogaba. Commiserations to Colin King George. It was a great heavyweight contest here at King of Kings.